Trump just dismantled welfare overnight with major change no other president in history has done before. Wow. So basically what I'm reading, I mean across the country there have been unprecedented accounts of welfare fraud that has been costing America taxpayer millions of dollars. While hardworking Americans have been doing their best to make ends meet to provide their families, thousands of others have been working harder to cheat the system. Now after years of this constant abuse, President Trump is ready to tackle welfare fraud in a move that has never been seen possibly before. So guys, what this means, I mean, Trump is changing the way you will be able to get your welfare and your food stamps, uh, your rent being paid and stuff like that. I think he's going after people who have found a loophole in the system get free food, to get free rent. I mean, this is going to be a crazy, this will be crazy times because people are going to be angry, man. You go to the store, buy some tomatoes, you got this angry guy there who starts crushing the tomatoes because he got his food stamps taken away and he can't have them no more, you know gonna be angry crowds and stuff like that I mean you're gonna go to your food store you'll see people sitting there asking for donations to feed their family it's gonna be uh, I think crazy days to come I mean a lot of people have been using this system for many of years I mean just using it meanwhile they got eight eight hundred thousand dollars in the bank or eight million dollars in the bank where they shouldn't even be on it you know what i'm saying so i think trump is going to tackle that first i mean it's going to take time for trump to do this people i mean you know so don't you know don't panic about it just yet i mean no one is being targeted individually about for this i mean I think the ones being targeted is the rich so far. I think that's where if I was going to make changes, I would start there. Then I'd start looking at cases where there have been loopholes that have been opened and I would start closing those loopholes. Then you got to start looking down at how you know, these people are getting their food stamps in the first place and their rent's paid. I mean, I would go to towards the free rent people that have a million dollars or have $800,000 or $500,000. You know, I mean, there has to be some kind of system in place that that's what I would think would be a loophole people who can help themselves should be helping themselves and not riding the system like a lot of people out there like if you have a medical condition and you know you're on food stamps I, I don't see a problem with that you know or if you have were born Without legs or arms or something or fingers, I don't, I don't have a problem with you being on welfare, right? That's what the general people are, are would be saying. It's the people who may be working under the table and yet still collecting on the welfare and stuff like that. I mean, there's just so much stuff that could be going on. I can't imagine. I can't imagine what's going on in welfare today. 
And you know, this might be a good thing for the people who are really on welfare that maybe they will start getting a little bit more a month once, once you get rid of these people that shouldn't be on there. And these people that shouldn't be on there, I don't think will be hurting at all for food, you know, or for the paying of their, their own rents, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, like, like these immigrants come in and bam, they're just giving everything, you know, while you're collecting unemployment, you can't get anything but your unemployment, you know? Some cases, you don't even get your unemployment, you know? That's how bad it is for actual Americans, you know? I mean, when you see these Mexicans coming over here and they're handed everything, including your social security, you know? And you're struggling every day to make that social security money. money. And you're getting screwed over. So this may might be a good thing. I mean, in the long run, I'm not saying this is something that's going to actually take place. I don't know if Trump's really going to do anything about it or if he's just talking about it at its time. The title does say Trump just dismantled welfare overnight. So there might be immediately changes coming today, maybe tomorrow, it's going to take time, I know, but within the next few months, so I think there will be major changes um, in welfare, whether it be medical, uh, paying rent, cell phones, I mean, you know, whatever it is that welfare gives people. I don't know. I mean, years ago, I, I, I never was able to get welfare, even though I had no place to live. I had no freaking job. I was living in my car. You know, I couldn't even get unemployment. I mean, my job just said, see ya. You're out of here. And, and I was a good worker, you know. I was never late. I was always on time and did my job. It was down downsizing that they would just have to fire people, you know, and to be a victim of that. And I do say victim, because I've been there. I've been there. So, I mean, you could you could walk in and you could walk out. But some cases, you can't even walk in the job no more. You got to be picked. You got to be a chosen one to get the job, you know. So it's it's not easy for some people to even land a job anymore. I mean, it's really difficult because these jobs expect you to have some kind of uh, bachelor's degree or associations degree or, or some kind some kind of college. And I mean, if you don't have all that, if your you know if your parents were poor and you you didn't have all that, you know, you weren't able to go and and you had a hard time your whole life with being uh, going through the downsizing since the what 1980s I believe and, and later jobs have been downsizing so it's very difficult days and companies don't want to admit it they just act like nothing ever happened you know they got the job you don't so and it's like even though you do have a job you're still a freaking slave man because you're a slave to that job you have to be there at a certain time you have to leave at a certain time you will only get two breaks and a lunch nothing more nothing less you know what i mean it's like and you know that's expected to have some kind of a uh, uniformity at your local job. You know, that means somebody else is working harder than you. If the one guy don't show up, the other guy's got to work much harder. And and, it, and the job doesn't pay that guy twice as much to do that work that day, even though somebody didn't show up. So this guy has to do twice the amount of work because this other guy never showed up. And the job don't appreciate it, you know. They just come out with the mandatory overtime. You have to stay. You leave, don't come back. You're fired, okay? 
So, so you're kind of put in a situation of slave by the mandatory overtime. You cannot leave, or there will be circumstances. When your eight hours is up, you have to stay. Because it's mandatory, see? And unless you don't care about your job, maybe they give you a nickel raise and you say, screw this, I'm out of here. And, you, and you, you get on unemployment and you try to find another job, you know? I mean, hey man, I'm on the stand in there, man. So I work some hard core jobs, man, very physical jobs. I never came in late. I was always on time. I did extra work. I helped my fellow workers. You know, I worked hard. You know what I mean? And that's what it was all about. A couple few years back, oh, you got to work hard, you know, to get anywhere. And I, I worked hard. I think I took hard to extreme levels. And the company gave me a nickel raise. So I was like, wow, I, all that extra work I've been doing is not appreciated but yet the manager's getting getting huge amounts of salary and bonuses. But they give me a freaking nickel, you know what I mean? That's enough to lose a good employee, man. These jobs got to wake up today because it's a new day. It ain't, ain't the old days no more, man. We're not going to be your little slaves no more, you know? And you know what I mean, guys. Those who are in that position knows exactly what I'm saying. Smash that like button. Because it's not always peaches and cream at a job, man. The jobs don't give a crap about you no more. They take away your holidays, you know? You work all freaking year for a lousy week of vacation. I mean... It's uh, it's tough times. I mean, some things need to be reconsidered. And we, it could be better, you know. I mean, but anyway, guys, that's what not what this video is about. This video is about Trump just dismantled welfare literally overnight. Major change no other president in history has ever done before. So guys, smash that like button. I know you might not like some of the things I said, but it's true in some cases with some people. You know, you have to understand not everybody's got a peachy job where they get the raises every year and they're they're making a hundred thousand a year, fifty thousand a year. That's not the case for the workers. The workers are, are the ones getting screwed. The workers are the ones doing all the hard work. They should be making more money. You know, not the people sitting around picking their noses upstairs, but the, you know, the workers, the one who's doing the work, the ones who's turning those gears for that company. Those are the ones who should be making the money. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'm out of here.